So I don't think filibustering was seen to best advantage. Set to go. Set now, they're off and racing. Filibustering was awkward out of the gates there. Dropped back last early on. As they come down the straight for the first time, Mac 10 is up on the wide outside. In company with Candle Wax, the two of them race together. And on the rail, that's Little Venice. As they establish in early order, Little Venice just going on now from Candle Wax. With Made in China nipping through on the inside of Mac 10, they're three and four. In fifth place is Oh What Fun, who's pulling pretty hard. Shadow of Your Smile next, and after that awkward beginning, filibustering sits in last place. But there's a long way to go, best part of a mile and a half still left to run in this RacingTV.com maiden handicap. And Little Venice has taken charge a little bit here, heading down the far side. Made, uh, Little Venice going on by two lengths, two in second place. Candle Wax, a slightly bigger gap then back to Made in China, next to Mac 10. Then Oh What Fun, who's racing alongside Shadow of Your Smile, Philly Bustering is still the back marker. Racing then with the one mile marker now in sight, nearly at the eight pole, with Little Venice still leading up. Candle Wax, the Royal Runner in second position, followed by Mac 10 in behind those in third. Fourth place for Made in China, Made in China is followed by Shadow of Your Smile, and then Oh What Fun, filibustering is still in last place. Little Venice approaching the seven pole with this lead that's a little reduced now as Candle Wax closes in slightly. Two to three lengths then back to Mac 10. Shadow of Your Smile is on the outside of Made in China, and then Oh What Fun, back marker still, is filibustering. The runners now are making the turn out of the back straight. Less than six to run from this point. Little Venice still leading up. Little Venice from Candle Wax in second. Third place for Mac 10. Then comes Shadow of Your Smile ahead of Oh What Fun. It's a bit of a struggle for Made in China, who's dropping all the way to the rear end of the field. Now last, filibustering's gone past him as they now race on. Candle Wax and Haley Turner in second place, but Haley having to get very serious here with this favourite and not picking up immediately by any means. Philly Bustring's now making excellent progress on the outside and is there on the bridle. The leader, Little Venice, about to hear the hooves of Philly Bustring coming at him. Then comes Mac 10 and Candle Wax looking very one paced in fourth position. Shadow of Your Smiles next, and oh, what fun is tailed off. Looks as though it's going to be pretty good fun for Philly Bustering fans here, who's now come through to strike the front. Two furlongs left to run. Mac 10 in second place in third, Little Venice. Then comes Candle Wax, who plods on. These are clear of Shadow of Your Smile, but the further they go, the better Philly Bustering gets. And Philly Bustering has opened up inside the final furlong to lead by about 10 lengths. Philly Bustering, David Allen and Tim Easterby are going to strike again. Again, they won't have many easier than this all season long. Philly Bustring eased right down, but still won by eight or ten lengths to Mac 10 in second place. Tight for third, Shadow of Your Smile joined Little Venice and Candle Wax next.